In today's competitive world, we rely extensively on our weighing scales to check how our bodies are fed. But what if I was to tell you that our weighing scales are not that reliable after all? Come, let's have a look. I want you to imagine three flasks. Flask 1, flask 2 and flask 3. And all the flasks have bases of the same dimensions. Now pour water in each flask up to the same height, H. When we put each flask on a measuring scale, which flask do you think will show the highest reading? Flask 2, right? The readings will be identical in all the three cases. Surprised much? Most of us think it's flask 2 because flask 2 contains the highest amount of water and hence has the highest mass. But we often forget that our weighing scales show us our weight and not our mass and then display our equivalent mass. Your weight is the force by which the earth pulls you towards itself. The weight is the product of the mass and the gravity of the earth. Wait, you know what that means, right? If you want to weigh less, you could ditch the heavy workout and move to a planet with lesser gravity. If the readings are identical, it would mean that the weight in all the three cases is the same. Since all three flasks are on Earth, G constant is the same for all the three. That leaves us with the mass of all the three flasks being equal, which is a straight up absurdity, right? Fortunately for you, there's an explanation. The three flasks that we poured water in have the same liquid with the same density rho. Plus, we have poured water up to the same height h. Then the pressure exerted by water at the bottom of each flask would be the same. P is equal to rho a g which is nothing but the force exerted by water per unit area. Since the flasks are stationary, there must be a force balancing the pressure and that is the force that the walls of the flask exert on the water. We figured out that the pressure is the same in all the three flasks given by P. On rearranging the equation for force, we get force is equal to P times A. The force exerted by the walls of flask 1 will be pressure times the area of cross section. Recall how the dimensions of the base of each flask are identical and so the forces will be equal on all three flasks. That translates to the fact that the force exerted by walls of flask 1 equal to that by walls of flask 2 equal to that of flask 3. F1 equals F2 equals F3 equals pressure times area which also equals rho AG times area. This resultant force is the very force that is balanced by the equivalent weight W. Since the force for all the three flasks is the same, therefore the balancing weight measured on the weighing scale is the same for all the three flasks and that is why you just see an identical reading all the three times. So no, your weighing scales have not gone berserk, but you have just taught yourself and resolved the hydrostatic paradox.